I'm Tim Cody, and I'm the owner and operator of China Peak. Been ski management for 35 years, 36 coming up, four or five resorts. Uh, ran Kirkwood Lake Tahoe for a lot of years. Uh, raised most of my kids at Kirkwood. Uh, it's been a great ride. I started uh, 40 years ago, 40. This would be 41 coming up. And uh, I was 19, I was a junior in college. And uh, my friends got me into it, teaching skiing back in 1974. And 1979, I started working full time. So I guess you could say I earned a paycheck and skiing for 40 years. Um, 35 of it now in, uh, in management. And uh, we raised five kids in the mountains. Uh, so in Southern California and Lake Tahoe. Uh, and finally here at China Peak. Uh, I met my wife skiing. Uh, she was a ski instructor. I taught my dad how to ski in his 50s. He's 92, and he made it skiing for about 88. Um, probably would still be going today if he could physically do it. But no idea. I started ski racing back in the 1970s. You know, I was in Southern California, and the mountains weren't real big. Um, a lot of machine-made snow, and uh, we were teaching skiing and going to college, and we had a lot of downtime, so we'd, we'd go up this little rope toe and set the old bamboo gates and uh, basically get to run gates all day. That's how we learned how to ski real well was running gates. And boy, we'd get so bruised up. Uh, you know, today you have the rapid gates that drop down when you hit them back then, nothing moved. And we were looking at big, thick bamboo. And we would get real, real black and blue. But it was, it was a great, great time. It's what really taught us how to ski. My kids started ski racing uh, when they were really young. Uh, all five of them uh, were all ski racers. Two of them, Troy and uh, Nick, uh, they stuck with it. Troy uh, became one of the top probably 20 GS skiers in the country. Uh, he's a great skier. Anytime you, you can be in any mountain anywhere in the United States, and you'll see him coming down, you know, he'll be one of the best skiers you ever see out there. And then there was Nick. And uh, Nick was the one who really took the ski racing more than anybody. He was uh, he was smaller than everybody. Uh, he was probably tougher than everybody. Uh, when he was a young kid, he, he had a lot of you know some good luck and some bad luck, and he just really really liked ski racing. And uh, so you know we chased that one. We're still chasing it. 26 now, graduated. Utah had a big career in NCAA, one of the top 75 skiers in the world today, the top skiers in the United States, battling to try to get a spot in the World Cup this year. And uh, that ski race is a tough deal, that's a tough, tough sport. It's been a great lifestyle for the past almost 20 years to watch the kids ski race and see, and see, uh, and see one of them there in this case into one of the best skiers in the world. I think most importantly, uh, skiing is one of the best family sports there is.